So this is part two in the arrest of Christopher Preciado and his dad Ramon Preciado for the murders of Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerra. So in part one you see them being arrested and placed in the back of the police squad car. And as was said in part one, the police believe this is to do with a drugs deal that has gone bad. Just 19 years old and he's just thrown his life away and taken the life of two other young people and an unborn baby. So here is part two of that video. I'll see you guys on the other side. This is the press conference. Sergeant Washington Moscoso, W A S H I N G T O N M O S C O S O. To the individuals you saw this evening, the first individual's name is Ramon Preciado, 53 years old, SID number 443651. The second individual was Christopher Preciado, 19 years old, SID number 1191061. So, the two individuals we, uh, we just walked out today, again, it's a father and son. First individual is a father, the second individual is a son. Uh, they're going to be charged, the, the father's, uh, I'm sorry, the son's going to be charged this, this, afternoon, this evening with capital murder, and the father's going to be charged with abuse of the corpse. We do expect uh, more charges to be uh, to be pending. So I'm not going to go into the whole thing. We, we all know uh, what kind of led us to, this, to, to where we are today. Um, I will say that when we recover, when, when uh, the wives were discovered on Danny Kay, uh, Obviously, the investigation began. SAPD detectives made that location and started collecting evidence. Um, one of the key pieces of evidence that we did collect at the scene was uh, Savannah's cell phone. And uh, so uh, that was given, handed over to our tech, our technology team, who was able to do the downloads of information on there. With the assistance of the U.S. Secret Service, we were able to get enough information. Um, and so that, that information was given to our detectives today. With that information, the detective, uh, the detectives were able to uh, find a possible location of where the, the suspect vehicle that was released on that on that surveillance camera, the surveillance video, a uh, possible location where that suspect vehicle might be. They made that location, and sure enough, the vehicle was there. They did a little bit of surveillance on the video or on the, on the vehicle, and then uh, were able to determine which house it belonged to. They went up, knocked on the door. Uh, the, fir the first gentleman, the, the, I'm sorry, the, the first individual, uh, the father, answered the door. He knew why the police were there, uh, was, was cooperated fully with the investigation, and were brought here to headquarters, and our detectives were able to start interviewing both the son and the father. Again, they were both at the home. They were both brought down here, and the, and the uh, interrogation began. Uh, through interrogating the individuals, the, uh, our detectives had enough uh, based on what they said, there was enough information there to get a warrant signed by a judge tonight. Again, to charge Christopher with capital murder and Ramon with uh, abuse of a corpse. Again, there will be more charges pending. This is what we have right now. I'll answer any questions. I uh, do you have the capital murder for the son and the abuse of the corpse charge. Dad, does that mean that you basically, the son killed them and then the dad helped hide the bodies? Yes, yes. And um, so I want to touch base on something real quick. The, since the release of the video that we said that we put out on the 28th, uh, there has been internet has blown up with um, people sending tips and people just sending misinformation. There was a lot of misinformation out there. These two individuals are to, are the only sus suspects that we were looking for. They, they were arrested. There were many names being thrown around on the internet. Uh, those people had nothing to do with this. We, we vetted them and, and everything. They, they didn't have anything to do with these murderers. So the individual, again, Christopher, uh, we believe committed the murders of, of Matthew and Savannah. And then Ramon uh, helped. Can you say why? Uh, it, it appears to be a narcotics, a narcotic related deal. Do we know the connection between this father and son and Matthew? Savannah, or a connection to the apartment complex. So there's no apparent connection to the apartment complex. It's just a place where they went to dump, uh, dispose, or hide the vehicle with the bodies in it. And it appears that um, the it was a drug deal. So there was like a drug connection to the, uh, the 
usual suspect and the two victims. When you say abuse of the corpse, can you talk about that a little bit? Is there any mutilation or is that... Something it's just that when you, uh, hiding the body, moving the body after after uh, discovering that he not only had his left foot. When did you keep it in the wedding ceremony? So, uh, the, the, um, December 21st, which is a Thursday, just before midnight is when the actual murders took place, uh, uh on that. And is, are they usually charged for raping? Because in the state of Texas, technically, they can be charged for a third. Right, so the, uh, like I said, there's going to be possible charges pending, or more charges pending. Our detectives are going to talk with the Bear County DA to determine if there are going to be any charges faced, uh, they're going to be facing any charges related to the young woman. And do we know if she was dilated at all? In, or if I didn't have that information from the medical examiners. I know that she was scheduled to be induced, uh, and she didn't make her appointment, which is why the, the family went to the police to make the, to file the police petition. Did he say where, where exactly they were killed? I don't have exactly the location. Well, we just know that they were killed from the, at a different location and then taken to that the apartment complex to uh, to dispose of the to, uh, dispose of the vehicle and the, the body. But there also was some Spanish questions. Real quick, see, podría so, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, according to the police, there are no other suspects that they are looking into. I mean, boy, this this young man has got some feminine moves for sure. The way he, um, you can see the figure getting in and out of the car. But this is the best news that I could have woken up to. And hopefully now there will be justice for Savannah and Matthew and their families and unborn unba baby Fabian. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, in the comments section. I will be going through them. And, you know, I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say, even if I can't respond. And I appreciate all the comments that are left. And drop a follow so that you don't miss any updates on this case, because obviously we will see this through right through to trial if we are able to. Um, so drop me a follow if you are not following me already, and then you won't miss any updates on this case. So that is it from me, um, and I will be going live on this very soon. Bye for now, guys.